Domestication theories, artificial selection, and this is humans selecting for certain traits or controlled evolution. And Darwin was fascinated by this. He loved pigeons and plants. Spoiler alert, he talks about evolution, but the entire book, it's just about pigeons until the last page. And he noticed that while selecting for certain traits, like he wanted longer beaks, he got other undesired traits. Spotty coats, smaller feet, fluffier feathers. He never figured this out, and he just, you know, just said, hmm, for like years. Does anyone know who figured that out? Not Paris? Because you answered it last time. <laughs> uh, it was Mendel, Gregor Mendel. And Mendel lived contemporaneously with him right across the channel. And like, had they met and worked together, it'd be interesting to see where we're at. But another thing I really want to point out too is in The Origin of Species, we like think of it as like this, it is a historical book, right? But it's kind of a great piece of literature. And there's two really interesting things here that's kind of a side note. But he says like, Thus from the war of nature and from famine and death, the most exalted object of which we are capable of conceiving, namely the production of the higher animals, directly follows. There is grandeur in this view of life, with its several powers having been originally breathed into a few forms or into one, and that whilst this planet has gone cycling on according to the fixed laws of gravity, from so simple a beginning, endless forms, most beautiful and most wonderful, have been and are being evolved. That is the only time he uses the word in the book. However, as great bars as those are, he got so much flack for it, he had to change it. And in the second edition, he had to add breathed by the creator. But like, it is a wonderful piece of literature, that, that last bit. Like you can hear uh, the David Attenborough, Richard Attenborough, the Planet Earth guy, hear him read it on YouTube. It's awesome to hear. Um, have been and are being evolved. It's like great. But anyway, <laughs> the idea that ancient peoples adopted wild wolf pups. This is the Pinocchio hypothesis, part of artificial selection theories.